What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 18 and today's topic will be intra markup paragraph tag or intra paragraph markup so what we have seen in the last video we have created one multi line uh, pdf but uh, this is kind of very simple and plain for plain text format there is no formatting for example we haven't used any any breaks any uh, bold or any underline kind of a thing but uh, as we already discussed in our last video that pv8 uh, report lab uh, paragraph supports some rich uh, markup tags like uh, simple uh, css or html those are familiar with those things it is kind of same so if you see there is a markup these are all these are markup tabs available within uh, report lab paragraph components so this is uh, b and this or strong for bold this is uh, italic this is underline this is for adding some hyperlink this is a for num adding an anchor tag strike is strike through all you know and uh, br for uh, line break so probably uh, and we'll use some sort of like uh, use case okay so uh, main part is that uh, within the PDF we can do some uh, nice formatting uh, with the help of all these things but again uh, again there are possibilities that you can customize your own style using your own uh, template for example you need one uh, letter or one word in um, blue and another letter is in green and you need to define your own size or spacing that also possible but that is called custom uh, style template but I'm not going to talk about that probably in the later classes we'll definitely uh, talk a bit on um, custom templates but before that just whatever available within the paragraph uh, context or paragraph uh, tags so we can discuss about that so we'll write some piece of code so our first topic will be we'll, I'll take the simple thing b and br okay so we'll, in this in this in this video we'll discuss about this b tag and the br tag okay so let me open this thing so let me write this thing so it will be going to from report lab dot import hmm, uh, one is paragraph and another one will be simple doc template then from report i think all of you are familiar with all these things right because we're using this thing for last two months or maybe more than that so this is going to be i think get simple style sheet okay now the pdf so let's create one pdf file object or the document object so this is going to be pdf then simple doc template and we'll give the name and that's tutorial 20 uh, uh, tutorial 18 so i'll give that name only tutorial 18 dot pdf then we'll create one flowable so i'll give it name as just flow uh, flow object and this is going to be kind of blank list okay and we'll write the text later but um before that just and like this okay and here we'll create ty alias styles and the style will come from here so like this so our main para text object will become like paragraph okay and we'll use this text and our style will be normal normal style okay just because we'll do some sort of formatting it will come here so what next it will be like flow underscore obj dot append and there we'll put this thing this is very simple okay and after that we'll just build the document so flow underscore obj sorry uh, this will be going to be pdf 
dot build and we'll need to pass the flowable object and that is this so that's it so now we'll do some sort of testing here okay so this is simple para graph without any break and bold bold word okay so let's see now what is happening so terminated so probably it will come here so we need to refresh yes it is here so this is simple paragraph without any break and bold okay so now we'll change the same thing okay so what i'll do i'll try to make it like then it will be easier without any markup so probably let me copy this thing then it will be easier when we are going to put this thing in the slide so let me just put thing thing put this thing here so i'll do live so i should not forget anything because the codes and the slides are very important so probably i can paste this thing okay probably this is right so without markup here it is now in the next slide probably you can duplicate the slide and this is with without markups and here with the the br with the br and b markups okay but this is not going to be just 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 i'm just keeping it as it is so it will be easier to understand so now we'll switch back to here so probably um so what are the available markers one is b and one is br so i'm going to talk about the simple uh, two things in this video as i told you so what i'll do i will put let's say here here and here i will put a break so what is going to happen br okay so now let's run this thing again well uh, some errors are there okay sorry 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 so this is going to be sorry sorry guys so well this is done so just because uh, i just put this content over here so that is how it is so it will be break and then it will start so definitely no content will be allowed over there so this is paragraph but without any break and bold then it will be this is uh, we can change it this is formatted and probably we can right b with break and bold word bold markups okay so let's run this thing again that's it see 
this is how it is and this is very simple and those are familiar with css and html uh, sort of things for them it will be just bread and butter it is very simple if you understand the logic you will be able to understand okay so uh, this is very simple thing you need to understand the logic and where to use it and how to use it that's it so guys uh, if you if you are not following uh, our channel uh, but just watching this video i'll highly recommend you guys please watch all the videos on report lab at least so then it will make sense because i'm i have created the playlist from the beginning so if someone doesn't know anything about report lab then also it will be easier for you to uh, understand the concept and i'll be going gradually towards the advanced uh, topic so now you can understand and now i'm going inside the formatting design structure or the different elements of the flowables so in the next video we'll be going to talk about the other available markups for example uh, uh, like uh, strong italics underline href name strike etc so five more markups okay so let me uh, do the first thing with with bold and break markup so what i'll do i'll just take a, uh, this thing again i think i should do it here no it is not working yes so now this is okay now we'll put this thing here so it will be easier for all of you to understand well so this is how it is cool so guys don't worry i'll upload the source code as well but again it's already there in the picture so it will be easier for you guys to understand as well so don't worry about that so definitely cool okay so uh, that's all uh, i will upload uh, the remaining topics uh, very soon probably uh, as you, as as all of you are like uh, i'm not sure all of you like those are actually watching this tutorial for report them and new for you those are our uh, like permanent viewers and subscribers so cause uh, this is a very special topic so guys actually i'm busy with the new forge so that is why i'm not quite frequent on uploading videos on report lab so once the new forge series is completed then we'll be doing the remaining uh, topics uh, again but don't worry the report lab tutorial will be uploaded tomorrow again so i'll be going uh, very slowly gradually weekly uh, two or three videos so i think this will also help you guys to understand so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video uh, till then take care goodbye and please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and whenever possible uh, share our videos with your friends family those are if you think those are actually um, relevant for our topics and will be helpful for them so once again have a nice weekend take care goodbye and hope to see you in the next video